In this video, we're going to take our previous model and turn it into a drawing. To get started, open up the model from the last example, and we'll create a new file, and just click Drawing. Notice on the left side you have your model browser, you have your sheet, your border, and your ANSI standard with field text. We're going to change the sheet format. So over at the top, roll over to your Manage tab, and we're going to use Styles Editor. Once inside of Styles Editor, go to the default and make sure that you're on ANSI standard. We want this to be for all styles. So drop down at the top right and click All Styles. We now have the ability to change the filter styles setting and we'll scroll back to active standard this should roll back to the models uh, standard for the drawing when you created that document we'll click the default standard as ANSI and we want to make sure that when we go to view preferences that we're choosing the right things We'll make sure you're on third angle of projection. The next step is to pop down to the dimension and let's click default ANSI. Uh, make sure you save those. And our dimension style is standardized as the Y14.5. Under units, Make sure that you're at two decimal places and you have trailing zeros clicked. As far as text goes, make sure that you've selected the default. We're going to save. If we go over to drawing resources, we have some sheet formats that we can scroll through. These are some standardized views. And let's select B size to view. Double click, and it's asking you what you want to import. And since I created the drawing off of that open part, it's already selected. I'll hit OK, and it should have given me two views. If you'd like to create another view, like C size for view, double click, make sure it's the part that you're looking for, and hit OK. And you can see it has selected multiple parts. To activate each part, we now have a bunch of sheets that we can right click and activate. That was our first sheet, it's blank. Our second sheet was that B2 view. And our third sheet is the 4 view C size. Let's activate the uh, sheet 1. And from here, let's edit the sheet. So right click and edit sheet. We can give a name to our sheet and let's make sure that it's a B size. And it asks you where you'd like to put the orientation of the title block. It should be in this standard format. Let's hit OK. Now in our custom sheet, we're going to add a base view. And this will be what any auxiliary or projected views reference. In the drawing view, we'll set the scale one to one. So on place views, we'll click base. And for the scale, let's make sure it's one to one. We'll make our hidden lines visible. And here, when we move this over, we can see we have our view cube. So if you want a different view, this is how you can get that. I want the right view as my parent view or my base view. So I'll make sure that I'm at one to one and I have my right view selected in line and I'll hit OK. That placed my base view on the drawing. We can now select projected views and we need to click a base view since we only have one, this is pretty easy. 
click on that base view and you can move up. You can also create an auxiliary view from here. If we click, we now have two green boxes for our next views and we're gonna right click and hit create. It should place those views. For the isometric view, we can right click and click edit view. Let's make this particular view a smaller scale. So we'll do three quarter scale. And over in display options, uncheck tangent edges. We'll hit OK. And now we have no hidden lines, no tangent edges. If you'd like to move views around, select the view and get the four corners and you can adjust your view as needed. I'm going to move the parent view and notice that the projected view moves with it. I can also adjust that as long as it's lined up. Now we're going to retrieve model annotations. Let's go over to the annotate ribbon. And we can see one of the boxes under retrieve is retrieve model annotations. Or you could right click on a view and find retrieve model annotations. I'm going to use the top view. And it asks me to do selected features or parts. I'm going to do parts so I get everything, not just a single feature. And I'll hit apply. And that should position all of the major dimensions from here. I can reposition these as needed by clicking on the dimension or the leader. So move these around so that they look appropriate. and everything is readable. We can do the same with this view. Right click model annotations, we'll select parts, we'll hit apply, and you can see our parts are. Once you've repositioned all of your dimensions in the correct orientation, we can see that some of them are redundant. So make sure that you move everything so you can see which dimensions are correct. To move one of the leaders, you can drag that middle piece in and adjust that way. And to change a leader style, you'll want this anchor point here. If you want to get rid of a dimension, like let's say, I don't like this inner diameter. I can right click and just hit delete to get rid of it. I don't like these extended lines. I can move those specific points. We should probably add a few extra dimensions. So we can just use the dimension right here, which is similar to our dimensioning in our sketch mode. So let's add two different dimensions. We can take the center of this circle to the center of this and move that out to get that dimension. And I'll just hit OK. That should match the same style as the rest of my drawing. We need to add center lines and marks for circles and arcs. So to do that, we can hover over to our center mark. And let's select this top arc here and we should get a nice position of a center mark we also would like to add a center line bisector which is this tool right up here and we can click this edge and this edge this edge and this edge and that shows that that's a through hole i'm going to add center marks on all three of these holes. If you'd like to adjust the center marks, you can grab one of the leaders and bring it in. At this point, I'm going to save my drawing.
And notice how it saves as an IDW, not an IPT. I want to complete the drawing by adding in some text in the title blocks. So we can zoom over to title block and pan in. And we can drop text in by using the text tool. Right up here, I will just type in DVCC. And notice how you can change the font and the height of the font, but it must be selected. Same deal, I can drop in my title, and that should complete most of the drawing. Anything I change in my initial part here, if I decide to suppress this feature and unsuppress this feature, I will save it. When I go to my parent drawing, it should automatically update. You need to update all sheets. Now everything is updated. This may screw up some of your dimensions, so be careful once you do this, you may lose one or two dimensions. Don't forget to save your drawing.